internet site where users, trainees can share knowledge. And what we want to do is we want to incorporate um, the base camp and the video tutorials in one place so people can access it and instead of um, uh, the problem with the previous system now is they kind of log you in and out. So we want to cut that and bring everything into one place. So that's the idea, that's the concept that we have. The strategy is on any shape. We have a justified business case. I want to make it more user friendly, easy, my easy navigation, and put all the resources in one place. We have our stakeholders, which is the company and the trainees themselves, who will be using the, the site. Internet. We're creating an internet knowledge sharing site where people, the trainees, can share knowledge and what they're learning. Okay, so what are you presenting here? This is the internet. I know that you're creating internet sites. Yeah. What are you presenting? This is the conceptualized stage. The first stage is the idea which I just told you which is. Conceptualization stage for what? For the for the framework um, of what Thank we do. Thank you very much. Now, so presenting the work. The framework making it now. Okay. So the framework is um, first of all we'll conceptualize the idea, strategize and initiate, plan, assemble, assemble and control, and close the project. Under this conceptualized uh, the idea, we would. Create, we have to create a site where Chinese can share knowledge. Another strategy is, I mean, shade. We have a justifiable business case, which is to create a site, obviously, and make it more user friendly and bring all the resources in one place so people can access it at once. And um, we have our stakeholders under this just for under the strategy, I mean, shades, who are the company and the trainees. And um, the scope really is about just bringing everything in one place. Now, the plan, assembly, and control, um, we have to implement and test. Now, what we'll be doing, um, we use Moscow to to work this out and we said what we must have for the project is a web designer, a test lead, a business analyst and a quality assurance man, a quality assurance manager. Alright, that's your requirements. What most is for uh, hiring requirements. Um, what you're telling me are your resources what resources you need for areas. Okay. Um, and um, what we could have is an offsite login so um, trainees can log in, they don't, they don't necessarily have to be on here. They can log in from home if they have a Password, well, we could have that, we could, we may or may not have that. And then um, we also use the SDLC to break this down the implement and test stage, which is to analyze. Um, in analyzing this, we broke down the internet interface. So we have uh, the database, which is the size of the internet, the video part of it, the attachment, and a live and interactive chat where people online can interact with, interact with each other. We have slow a design. Down, well. so, slow down. so we have a design phase. Well, you um, do well, I like it. So we have a design. The next stage is design. This is a software development. Sorry, forgive me. Software development lifecycle. That's what we're using. So we use the analyze, design, develop, um, test, and deploy. So analyze. I've said that. Design is um, well the profile of the users. This we will have a set tab. It's almost like this where you have an analyze because we brought out everything we need to have another design in the design phase. So we also have a set tab as well. And under develop, we would. Um, well, the people who need to do the different roles will carry out basically. So the developers will develop the testers will test and they will take note of the user end part of it, um, make it more user friendly and all that. Um, and when we're done with this, well, under here we'll be using Agile, obviously, because it's a new project. Why do you use an Agile? Because. Um, no, we're using Agile, well, because the company hasn't done it. Before. They, don't, they don't have a, a website where they have everything in one. Because we haven't done it before, it doesn't mean that the technology is not available. Well, we. It we might be an offshore application you just need to buy. Yeah, we, we talked about that and we said that, well, we actually, how we define what the company has in this model is what the particular company we went Yeah, with. no, but we haven't created an internet site before, but there are offshore applications that we can go online and buy. Or we can actually just build it ourselves. It's not an innovative idea, it's a simple internet site where we share knowledge and uh, where we manage our intellectual capital and where we can also interact with people in the company. Nothing is about that. Um, so um, I am not too sure if um, we need to use an agile methodology. If you're going to tell me we need to use an agile methodology to implement it, to implement it, then I want to hear a lot more about why. Because agile focuses very much on constant collaboration constant interaction with different cross functional teams and um, also um, embracing changes in the controlled environment. So is it because, and before I give you that answer, I want you to try and answer it yourself. I'm using Agile because... Um, I'm using Agile because the, the system, I mean this whole creating the network sharing site is, 
is for the company it's new and it's not that they are not um, well, internet sites that we can run and create something from it's that I, I don't think that the internet sites actually have uh, a live uh, interactive I know we don't have one yeah. but if there's an already off the shelf application that does everything we can do with the application alright and then customize it to what we want it to do does that make sense? Yeah. there's nothing agile about that now yeah. if you're telling me that we need uh, um, we need to build it specifically to the needs of our end users, our candidates, and we don't really know what they want, so it's important to collaborate with them and go through an iterative development process and we deliver it on an incremental basis, then that makes perfect sense. Is that what you're telling me? Um, well, yes, because we know that we have quite a, quite a number of people, and yes, we have, what we actually had in mind was, <coughs> um, was the people, the users basically. We needed to make it more accessible to them and ensure that... Making it accessible to them is something you can buy off the shelf. You yeah, can buy an application that offers that service. Yeah, I mean, to take note of the individual preferences of which we can't be every, every one of them, but we just need to make it more, well, customizable to them. I them. would say that this is the framework we're going to use. And when it comes to implementation, implementation stage, we may actually need to go agile or we might just need to use the simple water for this version. We can't decide at this point because we haven't actually um, strategized and initiated the project. I think when we end up with a just final business case and know exactly what we want, then it will be easy to actually define the best approach to use. But right now, uh, because it's a bit ambiguous in terms of what our requirements are, it's hard to pinpoint it. But if, it, if we're going to be customizing the application to meet the needs of our end users, and um, um, then maybe we might need to be agile about this. Uh, if we if we already if we're going to buy an offshore application that just does it that just does a, a few things that we need it to do, then there's nothing there's nothing agile about this. We can go to a simple waterfall approach. That's the look. We know what to get. Right now we don't. Okay. All right. Grab your seat.